Chris Bellini here, the Blue Jean Critic, with my quick take on Wonder Woman 1984. Gal Gadot is back as Wonder Woman. She's on the streets helping people, although she's keeping a real low profile. That's until Max Lord, played by Pedro Pascal, shows up with a campaign to take over the world. Wonder Woman's gonna need to step in the spotlight and try to save the day. To give you a flavor, here's a scene from the film. Wonder Woman is back and better than ever. We won't be doing that today. This film starts off with a bang, a lot of nicely executed action scenes. Great to see Gal Gadot back up there fighting evil. Kristen Wiig, Pedro Pascal, they keep things entertaining. Having said that, as the film progressed, it started to feel a little flat. I think they packed way too many storylines into the film. It felt like they spread things a little too thin and they didn't spend enough time in any one of those storylines to really make them stand out and that was disappointing. But you figure this is Wonder Woman so throw in some nice action scenes and that'll pull you through, which is sort of the case here, but there are moments in the film where you're wondering where is Wonder Woman? Steve and Diana spend so much time going around the globe trying to figure out what Max Lord is doing you start wondering what happened to Wonder Woman and that absence kind of really takes a little bit away from the film. I know it sounds like I'm being a little overly critical of the movie. The first film set such a high bar so I was hoping this one was going to meet it or exceed it and when that didn't happen I was a little disappointed. Having said that the film is very entertaining and people will enjoy it but I think I'm going to recommend this one on an afternoon stream. That's my quick take on Wonder Woman 1984. For more reviews make sure you go to coffeetv.com. I'll see you next time.